Well, hoi hoi, and welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, welcome back to a traffic jam in London. I'm doing my utmost to get myself and Ollie here to Rolls Royce to go and see the brand new Rolls Royce Cullinan. This, as most of you will already be aware, because it's already over the internet, is the first 4x4 from Rolls Royce. Apologies for the shaky camera. We are driving through the streets of London, which are like surface of the moon in most places so we're off to go and see the Cullinan anyway it's the first time I've obviously seen the car I'm gonna have a little look around it and I'm gonna decide whether or not I'm going to buy one for myself and for Ollie mm-hmm yeah do you want a Cullinan mate yes please um, it's around here somewhere so we we get there in one piece anyway come along with So here we are inside the Rolls Royce Cullen and the first time I've seen this car in the flesh and it is exceptionally noisy outside. So we've taken some uh, respite inside the Cullen and inside this busy event. So what do we have here? We have a 6.75 litre V12 twin turbo engine that's been reworked from the Phantom. It pumps out 563 brake horsepower and what was it? 627 pounds foot of torque from 1600 RPM. So that's a lot of torque from not many revs. Oh, oh, sorry. No, absolutely fine, mate. I forgot. No, crack on. I'm yeah, yeah. sorry. What's this for? Um, this, is, this, this is this is for YouTube. YouTube? Do, you know, do you know what YouTube is? I'm on YouTube myself. I'm, I'm jesting. I'm oh, jesting. Okay. I recognise you, you swine. Oh, okay. Um, right, I'll leave you to it. Look. I was going to do this. This. You, have you seen this flipping TV in the back? What's on? Well, you press good? one button. I've got my own entertainment system. Right, yeah. honestly, I could, we, we could drive anywhere and I will be happy. I haven't got one up here. Is okay. there anything good on? Might join you. Uh, we just got the location of where we are. Right. Excellent. I will put this up and I will leave you to it. Sorry. <laughs> if you know anything about the car though, please do stick around um, because I, I, I've run out of my facts. I've just read off my screen. Do you say the cost of it? There isn't a Go mobile phone in there by any chance. Um, um, could well be, mate. There is not a mobile There's phone. There's a terrible vlog going on. That's about it. Um, this is mayhem. See, this is the kind of thing that I people would normally cut out of a video, but this is what you've got to keep in. This is the goal. No, I've got to get over 10 minutes. Apparently, mate. it costs like half a million dollars to get most of the upgrades and just really? the base model. How do we do the roof? Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. This is so awkward. Can I, Sorry, uh, I don't even know your name. I'm Ollie, by the way. Tom. Pleasure, Tom. Oh, yeah, right. nice one. Thank you, guys. Bye. Yeah, yeah, ciao. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers, pal. Right, eh? Well, there we go. I think we've concluded the review already. Um, there's an entertainment something in the background. The sunroof didn't work because it's not turned on. I think that's about it, really. Half a million dollars or something, he said. Ollie, have you got anything else to add? Other Ollie. I like the carpets. <laughs> cool, sweet. Yeah, they are actually quite nice. I believe they might be lamb's wool. Splendid. Lovely stuff. Other points to note about this vehicle, it is 2.66 tonnes unladen. So with a load of people, a load of fuel, uh, and a load of groceries, which I presume you would you'd be doing in something like this, um, that's a lot of weight. I actually love it. I know this, but the looks are quite marmite, but I actually really, really enjoy this car. Um, if I was actually as rich as I went on about, then I would have one of these cars for sure. Um, but unfortunately, I, I, I uh, yeah. But there's everywhere you look in this car, I, I'm joking aside, the craftsmanship is unbelievable, as you would expect from Rolls Royce. And as you would also expect, there will be a billion and one customization options. So every single thing you see in here, you'll be able to be changing. So this is where Rolls Royce really excel. You can literally just go in there and say, I'll have that made out of an aardvark's ear. I'll have that made out of some of my mum's hair. Um, they would probably look at you a little bit oddly, but you could do it. Hello. Now, I was going to say, mate, I shouldn't be having to close my own door here. Oh, of course. A Do you know who I am? 
I'm joking. <laughs> oh, that, that's actually also very, very... Yeah, hold it down. Is there one on the front as well? Yep. Oh, there is? Yep. Oh, I see. I closed it like a pleb. No, Schoolboy no, no. error. No, we'll have to refilm that. Yeah, we'll have to redo that. It was, it was rubbish anyway. Actually, I'm quite busy, so let's just, let's just leave it in. And now we know there's a button for the door. Nice one. Sweet pal. Cheers. There we go. Because only plebs close their own door. I like that though. That is really obnoxious because you can you can just let your let your belly out and just press the door and just wait for it to waft shut and then presumably someone will drive you forth. Go forth. I get used to this. Please can we make some more videos so we can afford one of these? <laughs> we'll get a company, TGTV, Cullinan. Yep. yep. Um, we also have Mr. Mr. White. Was it Ollie White? How do I open this, mate? Please. There's a button. There's a button there. Oh, look at that. That is a lovely bit of finishing there, actually. Isn't it? I do really enjoy that. And there's this as well. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's literally like being in a plane. This is amazing. So I'd imagine if you had one of these, you'd probably spend most of your time actually in the back, uh, unless you encounter some sand dunes, in which case you just plow through them. What can you do on here then? What's going on? Sat nav, I guess. Music. Oh yeah, it's all going on in here. Anyway, enough of that. Settle. As you would, lad. Yep. Um, does that go up? Yeah, we'll have that. I'm just going to keep tugging at stuff until something breaks. Oh, look, and you get through there. Actually, you can see from here, look through there. One of the coolest features of this car. Should we go around and have a look at the look? Yeah, yeah. Look. How do Should we go and have a picnic? I've, I've got some ham in my pocket. That's perfect. Lovely. Does the door open on the button? I don't know. I really hope so. No, it doesn't. Help! Help! What about Sherry? How about we launch your <laughs> Let's get out. Ladies and gentlemen, is about all we've got time for. I have something to add from Mr. Seb Delaney. <laughs> thank you, sir. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you again soon. Bye.